and that's hooked away just wide of Lawson Richards off the mark with a boundary the great crunching shot Bibbs after him. That's a magnificent shot. That actually did dip away a little bit in the air. Richards down the wicket and uh, what an aggressive shot this is. Have a look at Richards here. Down the wicket he comes and whack. And boy, Tim May, just for a second, wasn't quite sure where that was. giving him a bit of an opportunity. I think Tim May's struggling because the ball is wet. The strange decision to start with him. West Indies 4 for 2.37. Oh, superb. Superb shot. The master blaster. What a shot. Just so much time to play that pull shot. And although Stephen Moore has troubled Viv he's not going to trouble him when he bowls there that is a beautiful shot 13 boundaries this time make it 14 you can't do it much better than that this is what people come to see great batsman in full fight he struggled today but he still reached the ropes 14 times well, this is a sign of true class once again Viv just saw the gap on the onside they just waited for the ball and simply caressed it past Tim May at mid-on. And that short boundary there on the straight hit, that was always going to be four. That's beautifully played. <laughs> that was off the front foot as Rodney Mace. That's four. Pulled just four to the square egg umpire. Superb strike. There's not too many players in the world that can play that sort of shot. It's just, it's sensational and coming forward and then just transferring his weight onto the back foot and uh, just caressing that ball in front of square leg and that's a sensational shot you won't see a better shot anywhere than this that's just beautiful oh dear oh dear that could be a six that's a great hit straight down the ground over long on what a magnificent fire in Brisbane, he struck Dottomate over mid-off. In Perth, he goes over long on. Superb strike. Well, that's one way of getting off 87. No real drama there for Viv. Almost just caressed that over the fence. Dropped in the, uh, yeah. Dropped in the bleachers. And that's it, 23rd Test Century for Vivian Richards. No nervous 90s for the great player. Four in a single, the second 50. Magnificent runs. Strikes to all parts of the ground. Fine ovation for a great player. And that's gone through between extra cover and mid-off, a disdainful shot by Richards. And that's another four. So things really starting to happen here now. The West Indies captain and his partner, Gus Logie, have come out right away and have started to go after the bowling. In the air, split the gap between mid-off and cover and raced away for four. An arrogant shot from the West Indian captain. He's had on the tour. And he's chopped that away for four more. Over the head of the gully fielder deliberately. And it's been raining fours here. You just can't bowl short at medium pace to Vivian Richards or to any great player. Tanner Dottermaid and Stephen Moore have to get their line and length right. It's very difficult bowling to a guy in this frame of mind with his record. It's absolutely fantastic. Got an average of 52.77, but you have to keep your cool. And that's not short of a good length. That is 
almost a long hop to Viv Richards in this mode and he just swatted it over square leg as if it was the easiest thing in the world. So let's have a look at that shot. It was an amazing shot, really. Here comes the delivery. It's quite short, but he takes it from around about off stump, hits it over square leg. Tremendous power on those forearms. The timing was superb. Bounced about 10 metres from the fence. And he's lifted that over the top of long off, and that's a big hit. That's a huge hit for six by Richards. That is a magnificent stroke. Yes, all our Western Australian viewers should get down here to the Wacker because this is a masterful display. He's making it look so easy to strike Jeff Lawson straight over mid-off as he did to Tony Dodomite in Brisbane for six. The follow-through was there, went way over the fence, back almost about 12 rows. Superb strike. And that's gone down to a long on over the head of Lawson, who is not right on the fence. And it crashes into the fence. Umpires are looking, and it looks as if it's another six. They're consulting. Lawson says he just couldn't tell. And Valletta is coming across from slip down to deep backwards square as border at slip helps the umpires by signaling six. Well, it's all happening. Four. Well done. And beautifully battered as well. Lawson has claimed the wicket. Vivian Richards is gone. But what a great innings. Absolutely magnificent entertainment. Alan Border brought in the man from Long On before that delivery. Saying to Richards, if you want to have a dash down the ground, you can do so. And a standing ovation.